pick, and it's on to tens. The high-profile player from Sentinels. All it takes is 15 seconds, and the spike has already been planted by Ann Box. On this pistol round, Seb nets one for his team, too. So it's a 5v3 favoring Ann Box. The Sentinels will need to retake, and they're going to do, do so through A-Link. Vice does not give his position away until he needs to engage, and he does so quite well. Uh, when we get there, uh, I, I think we stick together. We'll survive better that way. But who won't survive is Ye. As he goes down, that's the operator we talked about now on the floor, and Sentinels are adding it the tally. They've got one more. You can see that Ambox are trying to force engage while Sentinels are trying to play passive. That passivity is not going to work out. Hunter's Fury from the front of his Spectre. It's just a little dirty. It's been doing too much work here. Gotta get the blood off of it. I won the game though, by the way. And no boy in the game. I'm quite well in terms of HP. Just the run it back, but sick from the window, not stopped by the cage. He'll get two, and Mata with the run it back will get Shazam, trying to connect from Defender Spawn. There it expires, and Sick is ready for his third. Not his fourth, though. His boy will shut him down. Now it looks like Sentinels have full control, but boy... Will ...push on his own. We need to see if there will be a mark, and Ten's taking up space. Boy is down in hell. Deal with whatever comes from the defense. Yeah, he's going to pop the knives, and he will burst up and over the wall, managing to get one, but the run it back from Sick will take down Ye. Zoms with great spray control, and he'll get two, but not three. Nice sheriff shot there from Seb. And now, still a man advantage for Sentinel. As you see the Cypher alt go out, you're going to have good information for Boy, who is trying to creep up into B. And intel is so crucial now, as we are in the quieter moments of a round. Sentinels seem to think that this Execute is going to come over towards A, especially with the Cypher and Phoenix looking in that direction. But it's been way too long and you haven't heard a single thing. Dapper creeping up. Oh my, oh no. Oh. He was immobile. Boy could have capitalized off of this. He still does. It's on to sick though, as Sep will now be engaged in a 1v2. He's got his cam up. There goes a tracking dart. Tens bursts upwards and they'll look to play around the box. Down goes one. Target prioritization Ooh. from Sep is perfect. Beautiful clutch here. Judge in the hands of Sick, by the way. We only got to see the Judge oh. on display just oh. once. Tens, all right. He takes down Seb and Vice before being silenced by Ye. Zom's one to continue to give the Sentinels an advantage that will now grow. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Sick. Not even information right now for the Sentinels. They, don't have, they have no idea this is happening. And Sick is going to unwittingly walk out from Dispender Spawn and gif a Phantom over to Mata. And another nice shot landed by Anbox. This is just looking worse and worse for the Sentinels as these engagements go on. And they'll have to defend against the Hordes as the Sentinels try to retake. Lots of damage done. Finally, the first member of Anbox is off the board. It's Mata, who had run it back available, but won't use it. Holding on to it, potentially for scouting and damage later on. We'll find out. Back-to-back -back thrifty rounds, not always something Tens will do just that, but there's a curveball right in front of his face. He takes down one, there goes a dash, oh. but no! Tens huge with two kills, it takes Executioner. Do they need more? No, the judge is good enough for Sick to pick up the final two kills, and we are tied. Oh, I was hoping that there was a the little sound cue there. Beautiful shot, by the way. On this map in particular, that is and can be quite a problem. So his way and will be dapper to go on that and call it out. Zoms through sewers, takes down Seb, leaving just Boy all on his own. Will he be able to make it back before dying? No, the quick or and box. And they will wait ever so patiently. Spike gets planted by the way, as they now watch and guard faithfully over top of that spike. Tens has made his way back now as Sick and Zoms gone for Sentinels. Great play to take control of Garage and continue to push out, but Dapper's going to have to dry peek with limited intel and no real utility at his disposal. Tens' ultimate is up, pops up, feeds a bunch of knives into Mana, finds oh. another on to Ye. Beautiful shot from him. Round and stretch their lead, but sometimes words are very difficult. As can be six <laughs> positioning over on C Long. It's still going to be on A though, and here come the smoke to give that away. An ult being popped out now and trying to use it for intel. Both members of the Sentinels, both Tens and Shazam, getting one kill apiece. They've cleaned out the site and effectively thwarted Anbox's opportunity to make any form of it. The Astra obviously is a big difference here in the way that she's able to control certain parts of the maps and the sites in particular. Now, unfortunately, oh! the pistol yeah. round for Sentinels fans, not really going in their favor. Unless Zoms can pull off a meter over top of them. Another recon bolt goes out. 
So Zombs is not going any with a target sitting on top of the boxes, playing in a cypher cage. You get some nice intel on their ankles and whatever footwear they might be bringing to the fight. In this case, the fancy footwork is coming out from the Sentinels as they clean out the defenders that are playing on C. And now forcing the last two to retake as Ye and Mata burst in. Ye is good enough for one kill, but found these from Sentinels following the Alibron. And there you go, the Bucky working out for tens. He gets one, but then traded out right away. Sick a kill of his own before his run at back is all but over. Sentinels holding on to this A site for now. They've got intel too. Dapper playing down in hell as the smoke above him dissipates. Shazam rotating over to sewers. Watching in front to see if someone will push in that direction. It appeared that there was a cam up, but not entirely certain which one it was. Which cipher held on to that information? Sick will jiggle peek around the corner trying to do something with the cage in front of him. As there's a dart loaded and ready for Shazam. Sick though, a dry peek onto Ye who tries to retreat but won't be able to get away. He doesn't not just take damage, he loses with his life. Seb playing from above in heaven is in a tough spot, scouting as best as he can. This is the best round from Sentinels so far and it will continue to get better as Sick picks up his third kill. Boy will have no problem with Shazam who pushes just a little bit too much. Keep flank, they're gonna go through C. Zoms is there, can he line up even one? No, Boy wins the fight and continuously these rifles from Anbox are hitting their shots. They're sick with two and Shazam as well, leaving sick and Shazam in a 2v2 against Boy and Ye. But Ye standing on these boxes, operator in hand, waiting to punish if anybody bothers to go after that diffuser. There's some intel and also some potential damage being done as it's being timed onto the spike. A paranoia hits him. Information? No. Boy on the diffuse of the spike. Nice shot from Ye. He'll need to get another as that's the spike diffuser killed. Time running out at this point as Ye staring intently. Will Shazam peek him? No, the Sentinels have got it in the bag. Ye retreating, and it's a it seems to be the right call. The Sentinels is pushing it out. Tens has been spotted by the way. Curveballed, but he's blind as a bat. Anbox winning off of essentially a force buy at this point. But Zoms is trying to at least make them hurt. Not just two players down, but also some utility as well. Gone. Zoms challenging the Sova, but can't really do too much. It's Vice who comes out ahead of that one. And Anbox side of it. So with the spike being planted, Ye might not be aware of that. He's just going to wait patiently. This thing is up for an eternity. The three final members of Anbox surge in together, trying to trade left and right. And for boy, it's working yeah. out. Finding four. Shazam last one up on behalf of the Sentinels. And no, it's Ye to steal the ace away. Call it that. Boy's about to get flashed. He looks the other way as a cage protects him, and Mata comes for support as well. Boy capitalizing off of that with Seb at his side. The teams trade back and forth. Ye in the midst of the smoke expends the last of his utility. He's being chased down by Tens as it's a jet battle, with Tens going back into the site, trading out the judge for this phantom. Waiting and watching. Ye's got the operator in hand, in a post plant, favoring the Sentinels right now. This could be potentially tricky. He and Vice are going to have to come through the same area and it's being watched very intently by Sentinels. Have Sentinels able to buy in partially, but not fully. Now, I will say, you got to be afraid of tens with the judge. He's been putting that weapon to good use so far through this half and I'm sure he'll continue to do so. For Sentinels, uh, in their hands. Six spotted, he comes up, but it's a run it back. It was a distraction for Tens, who gets cut down by Ye. He's been hitting his shots in the first half, and especially so in this second. Advantage in favor of Anbox in that early burst of action. Here comes the Hunter's Fury, and it's going to be put to good use there. Reforcing repositions on Anbox's side. Zoms will get the entry from short. And this is starting to look better and better for Sentinels as things go on. Seb and Boy, the last two on defense, they're both coming from defender side. And Seb will get the entry in hell. Boy landing his shots as per usual to short. Now it's just Shazam. And he gets aggressive on Seb and Boy who are trying to play this passive. Here comes the smoke. Shazam now knows where Boy is. Information from defender side. Spike planted now. Post plant gets aggressive and it works. What a read. Shoulder, if you see it get fired, but Vice puts it away instead. Now, now, there you go. Some intel for him. And Vice will decide to take the fight. Frenzy in hand, dropping tens. The spike does get planted. So now Anbox will need to rise to the challenge and do so quite well. Sick is miles away. And there's no way that he's going to be able to get there in time. Whether a kill comes out for Anbox or not, they're still going to take the round. In extra time, Sick gets...
Vice inside of Market. He swings out, and that's not too much of a challenge for him. Ye is there for just added insurance, and Vice will continue in weaponry. Sick will net the very first kill as he pushes through Market and continues onwards. Blow at the moment from the Sentinels. They are all just waiting very patiently. Dapper has moved up though, and now he's trying to hold on to it through that courtyard. Can't do it. He's not going to find anything with it as it gets shut down pretty quickly. The timer continues to tick and tick and tick, and now Zoms is down as Boy will work with the rest of his team to pinch just like that. Inbox have it, but they still need to get Tens, who's finally taken care of, but they won't be able to get the spike. The kills give them a Pyrrhic victory, and Sentinels find their on the site. His run is finished over by Fish Market, and Mata takes down Tens. So, Anbox finding that first kill. This has been a slow round so far for the Sentinels. They're being punished for it. Zom's the only three from Sick, nets nothing. And here it comes, Tens with the jump up, and can gather as it's shot. Turret, good distraction there, and oh... Nice shot from Sick and Shazam. On top of boxes, Boy will go down. Expected him to get something, but nothing comes of it. Sentinels now in a two versus two with Sight Control trying to plant the spike, but you can see that Ye is nice and close. They run it back from Mata in a good position there to distract, and now Sick can't play the post plant. He has to play the 1v1. Heal up, and he could definitely win this fight, but it's a res from Ye. Good distraction. Spray through the wall. Neither player able to get the kill, but the time definitely in favor of Anbox, and that'll be it. Sick, a nice try, and he's even a playing of Ye. A long line of sight with that Operator where she can deal some significant damage. Seb spraying for his life, by the way, as there's just chaos in front of him. Every ability seems to be coming to life in front of our very eyes. The Sentinels actually come out ahead of that one. But they will now need to take a site where Boy is nestled deep inside of two big kills for him as he paranoias up onto Catwalk. Shazam will need to contest. He and Sick are together, and they make it work! The Sentinels take the round, only their second so far even make it back. She will head through Market where the Cypher is located. All while this is happening, the remaining eight members of the server are over by the A site. As that's where the spike is, but the spike is quite a ways away, and now there's a smoke that they will need to go through if the Sentinels want to be able to get this one down. Sick, unable to apply any pressure through Market. Or at least through mid, maybe to market, but a push oh. out from Cat and Bob. His Vice, who's just lurking just outside of oh. market. Sage Wall goes in front of him. He can't do enough damage to Dapper, so Ye will await whoever from Sentinels comes in that direction. Beautiful shot onto Tens, winning his duel and then immediately backing off. Dapper wins his against Mata and will immediately ult to get the location of the remaining defenders in Anbox. And with it, an immediate follow up. He's got every kill for his team so far. Go and they will head through Market, and now over towards the site. But yay, silences Dapper, down he goes, Shazam in a duel, and nobody can out-frag yet. This is Recon, he's gonna go over towards this main area and B, but no, unfortunately for Ye, who peeks a little bit too early, Dapper punishes him for that. The Sentinels are gonna try and take up ground on B quickly, but all those swarm grenades going off allow for a bright and fluorescent amount of damage being done to them. But not just damage, but also delay. Inside of this corner, both Seb and Mata will continue to just wreak havoc. And oh no, knives out! And Mata ends up capitalizing off of it. The first half is in the book! Inside a market, but it's been read by Sentinels for the most part. There's only two people by A. Call has to come out here shortly as Ambox are starting to entry out. The great use of the wall. Ye will shut down Dapper as he attempts to rotate off the staircase. All the information definitely going in the favor of Ambox right now on the entry. Sentinels trying their best to dissuade the push, and they are going to put up a fight. But Ambox, Vice in particular, able to get two on his flank up through Defender spawn. Now it's a two versus two. Ye and Boy versus Sick and Shazam, and a rotate with the spike in hand for Boy as he starts to go towards A. 30 seconds left. And I think Ye saw him, by the way. I don't know exactly how close he was, but there's an opportunity that Ye could have potentially, or rather, yeah, Ye could have seen one of the defenders rotating, but no. Ye will still be holed up inside of mid, watching. The two players from Sentinels are going to be entering through A. Sick, in particular, clears hell very quickly. That door can be closed, but they'll have to provoke a fight with Boy first, whose shoulder is spotted. Ye swings out. He capitalizes off of that. Shazam takes Ye out of the action, but as well, I'm fairly certain three or four agents were spotted with that one, and they'll hit it all at the same time, just breaking forward. No delay possible. Ten will try to stop them all, finds two so far as he backs away. Sick now next in the line of fire, quite literally, as it goes out in front of him, playing around it. 
and allowing him to get more aggressive towards B main. Zom's outdueling Mata, and the Sentinels find themselves with a huge advantage, leaving Vice all on his own. Left to his own devices, you could even say. Oh my. <laughs> 1v5 and some jump peaks just to get some intel, but Vice... The curveball here for sick, and will he be able to do anything with it? No, he's just a hair off the pace as Ye gets that leadoff kill. Around for Ann Box, who are unmanned and outgunned, but it doesn't matter. They're still claiming the site. Spike is going down too, and now a smoke up top for Boy, who will head up there himself to try to govern over it. With the Phantom in hand, staring directly into the smoke. Nobody from the Sentinels are going to press that particular angle. This is going to be a tough, tough round for the Sentinels to come back. As you can see, they've still got something working for them. They had some utility on Shazam, but Shazam isn't in action anymore. It's Dapper with just a gun. No damage done to him. He's got full armor, but if he breaks the glass, oh, he's going to be no. And there's one, two. No, only one as it Seb stops it. And map point for Anbox. Uh, you know, weaponry, but Anbox played that so well. The way they slowly lurked up from Catwalk into Tree and only played off contact? Beautiful stuff. Despite the curveball coming out from Sick, he just died before- Tree making it even more difficult for the Sentinels. Whoa. There goes a Killjoy ultimate dropped on the ground and Lockdown is coming, but a couple seconds away. Those Sentinels guns are finding their mark. This particular time, it's on Tomata. Down below, Sentinels will have control of Hell, but it's Anbox who have control of the site. And the two last players from the Sentinels are boxed out. Everything on the line here. Map 3 within their grasps. Anbox will need to hold on as best as they can. Now for the Sentinels, the job, the hard job, will need to be to go for the spike. A lot will rest on the shoulders of Shazam, as it's sick who will likely be the one to go for the exec play. Shazam with one, looking behind him. No, boy walks right in. Clutch moment. He's got a smoke available, and he'll send it out, trying to stop the Phoenix from being able to do anything. Sick is on it, and that's... ...there in heaven for control. Sick is forced off, and he's going to play for the retake, trying to meet up with his teammate by mid, but it's a rotate, and it's a well-read one for Sentinel. Just Seb now, and he's... ...rotation from Shazam. That wall is going to be a hindrance as well, but Tenz is there, and he cleans out with Shazam at his side. They're gonna have to break this down if they want to get through. Zom spots the breach. He's flashed, but he still gets the spike down. Vice picks it up, and he'll need to go for a plant. But he can't do that, at least not yet, leaving Seb to do the dirty work. Spike lays within his grasp, so it's not too far off, and Heaven is smoked as well. Seb is gonna step on over and wait. And the sound that's made will call to action the last member. To interrupt you, but you don't need to imagine it because it's happening, it's happening right, right now right on now. your screen. Yeah, yeah it's you, mm -hmm. it's real life right now. <laughs> you see what I see, by the way. It's not hard to imagine. The position of Mata is now sick runs on up. Is he wary? He is, but he doesn't win the fight. It's Anboxes to lose. That calls tens in action, oh. picking up two big kills. And he spots the cage looking for more. Blind firing away, no tracers to be seen as he backs off of that fight. Out goes a Leer, so it will blind them, but for a moment, allowing Shazam to try and capitalize, who juggles the op for the other Phantom and now backs away. He's waiting ever so patiently. The Sentinels know they have control of the site, and they've got control of the bodies as well. Everybody but Vice and Ace denied as Shazam picks up that final drop to B as best as it can here. But it doesn't end up paying off, and in fact, it looks like the Sentinels were prepared and ready for this. But just as I say that, Anbox decides to punch back, and the counter punch landing quite firmly on the jaw of Sentinels, giving Anbox a numbers advantage. I too. Anbox now, eating themselves to Dapper? No, Ye comes out ahead. Shazam up top, he'll watch over his smoke as the spike goes down. His back turned to it, but he'll have heard it. Ow. In the post plant here, Anbox have every advantage. Shazam, though, with an operator, can make some work happen. That's a difficult shot, and Shazam will not land it. Just the waiting game here for Anbox. There's no need for them to overextend or take a risk. But you still have Zoms and Shazam up. Zoms, nice shot there onto Vice by Pillar. Two more to find on that same position. And the time is starting to run out. As Ye shuts down Shazam on Raptors, it'll be the final kill for Mata. It was all a moment. And now Sentinels lead off this round, number eight, with an advantage. Aggressive push from Sick, and he gets shut down. Oh no. Anbox, though, great answer back, and we end that early scuffle with, on a, with a three on three. Well, you collide with each other, come out a little bit weakened, and then back up and ready for more. Save your energy, why don't oh. you? 
Ye has his back turned to the B-bomb site, or the B-site, rather, and that is not ideal, as Dapper is able to take him down. Tens gets one, too, as the two remaining members of Anbox split apart, miles apart, even. Boy will now need to head into B. This is going to be tough. Looking directly in front of him, there's an Astra Star that could go off at any point. It could also be a gravity well, which is what the call is going to be made. You can see Cypher waiting patiently. Boy, trying to bait it out. And boy, oh boy, this one is going to be tough. Instead of it going off, he manages to shoot the cam above him. His Dapper fires really well as the Sage Wall stops it from going off. No gravity well will be available, and most importantly, there will be no obfuscation from the smoke. Shazam from above punishing Ye, as both of these teams lose somebody, but for the Sentinels, they lose tens, their top performer, by quite a bit. Six pre-fire connects on Mata, but he is traded off immediately, with Seven Boy now holding on for his team. Zom's in a 1v3 with the plant going down, and it seems all but certain. Nice pesky abilities if they want to try and determine the locations of where Sentinels are, and Ambox are wise to it, cleaning up the two kills that were over by the, by the site on A. Ye now waiting on the smoke. Oh no, he's gonna see Shazam go right by ships in the night as they pass each other, but Shazam is brought back from the dead by Sick. Tens a kill now too, and the advantage goes over towards Sentinels. They have been trailing these last two rounds and looking to find themselves back in the action. Spike is down, by the way, now as Boy finishes off Shazam, looks towards heaven. Tens creeping up. All too powerful. He's like been a raid boss almost. Waiting, finding one kill, immediately snatching and relocating, but no, boy shuts him down. Here for Vice, but he is the only one on A side, and even so, he's making it work. He'll take down Zombs, but look at this. No bait from Sentinels, they stay on B. And the charge back into the site is going to come from Anbox, and they're doing quite an admirable wow. job so far, with two members from Sentinels removed from the equation. It will continue, though, as a single kill from Sick will try to set up Shazam in a 1v4. Spike has been planted, Shazam doesn't see the safe, etc. But at the same time, there's also just the motivation that comes no matter what, where where you win a round, it just pumps you up to a level that can't be quantified by a scoreboard. Now, in this very crucial pistol round that had broken in favor of the Sentinels before, it's just coming to blows for both teams with Sick Classic in hand, now on the hunt for the very final kill. A bullet whizzes over his head, and he knows that Seb is over by ropes, and Sick is up in heaven as entry is denied for a few unfortunate souls trying their best to throw off and box sentinels have control of above and now dapper looks like he might be heading over towards a they've got access to it but yay knows this takes down one traded out by sick sick now a, a self heal and with the spike in hand will go for a plant can still watch that from heaven if it's retaken by the attackers bought over by screens he's not going to have anybody in his line of sight when he peeks but if he doesn't look to the left directly, he could be punished for it. Depending on how much his gun pick sticks out, this could be a challenge. He's got the Boombot in hand, Shazam's gonna have to shoot. And with Ye dead, you've also got a numbers advantage. The Sentinels will continue to clean up. Tens dropping Vice, so, so perfect he's been over the last couple rounds. As they just wait out the back of this site. Spike is down, time running away. Sick will wait. There's a kill for him. But Mata picks up two. Set one as well. Tens another. It's Mata in a 1v2. Is this a winnable situation? Oh. He tries to make it, but Dapper denies it. Sentinels on... The pit there from Anbox was not nearly as influential as Vice would have liked it to have been. However, it did at least buy a little bit of time, allowing for Anbox to fully rotate. One of the biggest problems, though, for Sentinels was that they were... And Box have now forfeited control of mid and will try to hang on desperately to heaven as they also try to hang on to this map. Now, Sentinels does have Cypher Utility over by A, so if the push comes out, they're going to know about it. The entry into Heaven is working out for Sentinels, and they're going to get B control. The only player left to stop this push will be Seb. And now the Sentinels coming in, Seb trying his best. Boy and Vice will need to try and hold on for the Sentinels, as they have yet to lose a single player on this round. A flawless to end it, is it possible, for the Sentinels. And send Anbox home. Well, Shazam goes unpunished, and he'll scoot away, but he's wasting very vital time. On the ropes is sick, but the real ones on the ropes are Anbox.